Hey everybody, Virginia Handyman here. It's been a while since I posted a video, but I'm going to uh, find out something today that I hadn't, I didn't know. Um, I've been trying to troubleshoot LED lights. I've got a set here. I'm going to plug them up. <clears throat> and I have actually thrown away some of my LEDs because I've got so frustrated with troubleshooting them that um, I knew it was some way to fix them, some way to troubleshoot them other than this stupid thing. I said, you're supposed to try to work, you know, plug this into your light cord and then try to work this thing in to this wire, like right here, coming, coming out of the light, and then you're supposed to squeeze this here, and it's supposed to light the lights. No, that don't work. I'm going to show you what does work, and we'll make it fairly simple. I put some, put a little clip, got a clip on these things where it didn't work because I was using that other thing, so I can take these off. And I am using... This meter, I don't know. I haven't tested it with a true RMS meter. Uh, I don't think this is actually a true RMS meter. It's just an old Craftsman meter. Set this thing on 200 volts AC or 100, 120, whatever. Just make sure it's 200 or better, okay? 120, it needs to be a minimum of 120. Now, what I'm going to do, I got these lights plugged up. Let me take this other clip off. All right. You see right here, this is my first, this is my first non-working light. This should be, let me pull on it, make sure. I got it in my nod. Nothing new. No, that's the, uh. What you want to do is you want to go to the other end of this thing. Not where it plugs into the wall, but you want to start from this end. You're going to take your meter. And you have to play with it the first time around. But what you do is you set your meter up. I'm going to set it right here off to the side. We're not really using the meter for some reason. I don't know. I've never seen voltage do this myself. But we are working with LEDs, which supposedly are DC. They should be DC. Oh, got a mess here. Hold on. <laughs> As usual. <Hold> on. <laughs> Knock the phone off. I ain't got a decent stand for this new phone. Um, anyway, we are going to plug one of the cables into the back of the back of the receptacle. Now, like I say, you have to mess with it. I'm in this side for now. I'm going to the far end of the lights. Which I got my lights laying over my meter cable. There we go. So I'm going to the furthest end from this end that the light is out. Which should be, let me go back and make sure. Okay, there's this end. We're gonna start backing up. Now what we're going to do, this is the plug, the <coughs> other end of the lights. It's not this end of the lights. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go, I just for demonstration purposes, I'm going to go right here, second bulb in. I'm going to pull this out just to make sure that I have my meter on the right leg of the receptacle. Now, yes, my meter will read. Okay, you see I'm not seeing anything? Now, I'm gonna go right here on this. I'm gonna unplug this. 
plug it back in on the other side, okay? Let's go back down here and watch what happens, I, I hope. See that bulb light up? All right, the way you can do this, there's probably 15, 20 bulbs in here that are not burning. I'm gonna go about 10 bulbs in. And this, uh, trust me, this works. It works great. All right? No lights are burning. All right? What you're doing, and I can't, I can't, uh, uh, let me say that I, uh, I take no responsibility if you somehow get shocked. But what you're doing is there is two little uh, tabs up inside of this plug and you're going to you're going to touch one of those tabs and if the lights light up then the, you need to keep going toward the receptacle these lights are not lighting up so one of these sets of lights is bad so I'm going to put this ball back in and I'm going to go back about five bulbs Pull the bulb out. I'm going to go in here. I'm going to touch here. I'm going to touch there. Nothing. So it's got to be one of these bulbs. I hope. Watch it make a liar out of me since I'm sitting here making a video. So I'm going to go here. Pull this bulb out. 98% of the time. What I found see those little metal ears? Okay. See this one? Got a metal ear on that side. See where it's broke. Let's see, I got another bad one here somewhere. I had a couple of spare bulbs laying here. Yep. All right. Metal ear. And nothing on that side. See where it's broke. And that's normally what happens. It will break in the receptacle for some reason. I have no clue as to why. So we're going to go here. All right. That light lights up. See them light up? They're kind of dim, but they light up. I'm going to put the bulb back, make sure it's not one of the bad ones. And I'm just going to go one bulb now. One bulb toward the, toward the receptacle. All right. And it could actually be, I have seen these little ears actually slide out of the plug too. All right, we're lighting, but we're not lighting this bulb. Watch. So I'm going to put this bulb back. Let's see if I should have another good bulb here. I'm going to go back on this other bulb and replace it. And let's see what happens. Well, that didn't do it. Okay. Then let's keep going. Next bulb. Nothing is lighting. There is something wrong here. Ah, that bulb was broke. Yep, that bulb was broke. So here we go. And voila.
like I say, I don't know what it has to do with the meter. It shouldn't. <laughs> I've never seen a meter do anything like this on voltage. Uh, it should only, it, and, and like I say, it's not, I don't think this is a true RMS reading meter. I think it's just the load of the meter is lighting those bulbs. So give it a try. Uh, let me know in the comments, like and share. And I appreciate you watching, and I hope this helps you out. I know it was a little long, kind of messed up, but here we go.